everyone my name is yash trivedi welcome to my youtube channel textile spear in today's video we will discuss about the manufacturing process of regenerated fiber viscose rayon so without wasting much time let's start with the video do like share comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel before going into details about viscose rayon let's see the definition of textile fiber and its classification so textile fiber are a unique form of polymeric material which combine the chemical physical and biological properties of polymer and the flexibility strength and processability of fibrous structure these properties allow them to spun into yarn now let us discuss the classification of textile fibers the fibers are normally classified as natural and man made among natural subgrouping is made as animal origin vegetable origin and mineral origin animal origin can be further classified on the basis of hair and secretion example wool and silk respectively while vegetable origin can be further classified on the basis of seed bast leaf fruit example cotton jute sisal coir respectively and example of mineral origin can be asbestos the man made fibers are further subgrouped as regenerated fibers synthetic fibers and inorganic fiber regenerated can be also classified based on cellulose and protein today we will discuss about the regenerated fiber viscose example of synthetic fiber can be polyester nylon etc and example of inorganic fiber is glass so this was all about the classification of fibers now let's discuss about the process flow of manufacturing viscose fiber the manufacturing of viscose rayon involves various steps right from steeping to wet spinning let's discuss each process one by one steeping steeping is the very first process in the manufacturing of viscose in this process the pulp is treated for mercerization in presence of naoh at mercerizing strength the pulp sheets are then steeped in 18% naoh alkali cellulose is generated as product during the reaction next is shredding during shredding the alkali sheets are then converted in light fluffy mass with the help of machine which consists of pair of revolving blades rotates at a high speed in opposite direction next is aging the crumbs obtained at the end of shredding procedure are transferred to a steel container where they are stored under specific temperature for 3 to 72 hours which may vary according to the catalyst and alkali the presence of air in the alkali reduces the chain length which in turn decreases the viscosity as it is essential to prepare the desirable spinning solution as soon as the correct viscosity is obtained these pieces are then transferred into a drum where it is kept in inert atmosphere and kept at a lower temperature next is xanthation which is one of the most important process in the viscose rayon manufacturing during the process of xanthation the aged alkali cellulose crumbs are placed in vats and allowed to react with carbon disulfide under controlled temperature at 20 to 30 degrees celsius which form cellulose xanthate next is ripening in this process the viscose is allowed to ripen for stipulated period of time during ripening two major processes take place firstly the xanthate group are redistributed and then lost the viscosity of the solution first decreases and then rises to its original value next is preparation of spinning solution the spinning solution contains the following water zinc sulfate sodium sulfate glucose and sulfuric acid the sodium sulfate precipitates the dissolved sodium cellulose xanthate the sulfuric acid converts xanthate into cellulose carbon disulfide and sodium sulfate the glucose provides softness and pliability to filaments whereas zinc sulfate help in adding strength next is filtration the viscose is filtered to remove undissolved material that might disrupt the spinning process or cause defect in the rayon filament and the last process is wet spinning in this process the ripened viscose solution passes through a centrifugal pump due to the pressure exerted on the solution by the compressed air 
Then viscous solution is forced through a spinnerate which has many fine holes with diameter ranging from 0.05 to 0.1 mm. As soon as number of filament emerges from the spinnerate, they are taken together to the surface of the spinning bath and then it is guided to two rollers from where they are wound onto the spindle. This was all about the manufacturing process of viscose rayon. Hope you liked the video. I will come up with more such videos based on fiber manufacturing. Read the article on viscose rayon manufacturing by clicking the link in the description box. Visit www.textilespear.com for reading articles related to textile. If you wish to publish article on textile spear, drop your article at textilespear at the rate gmail.com. Till then, stay healthy, safe and don't forget to subscribe Textile Spear. Thanks for watching.